Okay guys, so I finished off uh, my pieces, did the touch up paint, really happy with the results. Um, and why this was all drying, uh, I made my little gasket in there, just went and got a little gasket material and copied over my, uh, with pencil, uh, just put it down flat, copied it over, cut it out, cut my holes out, uh, put it on there, went around the uh, inside of it and just made a perfect gasket in there. I've just put it down with a little uh, gasket seal. Uh, it's like form a gasket, um, you know, Honda seal or any of those. Uh, I've gone through and cleaned out, uh, cleaned out the inside uh, of the oil pump. And I'm gonna go ahead and mount that down there and use a little thread locker on those inside screws uh, so that everything is mounted. Um, and then we'll be ready uh, after this uh, totally hardens, which is supposed to be 24 to 48 hours. Um, and we'll be ready to put these back on the bike and put some oil in there. So we're making some headway, guys. Okay, guys, uh, day after Christmas, it's like 11 degrees outside, so I kind of got my heater on out here. Got my side cover back on here. We just line it up with the pegs. I used a little uh, gasket seal uh, just to give it a light coating. Dumped it on, tightened down in like a star shape. Um, so I got it on, uh, my oil pump is on. I just ran brand new hoses to the tank and these go to each of the carbs. Hooked up my throttle control here which controls the auto loop system. And now I'm getting ready to put the last side cover on here. Then the engine will be ready to put uh, oil in it. Uh, I'll need to tighten up the screw underneath the oil refill screw. Uh, but she'll be ready to hold uh, liquid. So, all in all, a good job. And I'll uh, keep you tuned as I jump over to the other side. Okay, guys. And now you can see this side. <coughs> Light out of the way here. The bolts in, make sure you put your uh, cable, uh, your clutch cable in there, uh, and it connects uh, to the spring in the back, which is real simple. It only connects one way, so you can't really mess that up. Still got my uh, stator cover off, uh, I'll put that on after I tune it, uh, tune it uh, and time it, I think. Actually, yeah, I think you can twist that without having this cover back on. You might have to take it. But, um, yeah, look at your uh, parts list. Make sure uh, you get the right screw in the right place. Uh, there are centering pins. I think they're up here and down here are the two centering pins. Make sure they're in place. It just helps center the, the piece on it. This side doesn't take a gasket or anything. It's meant to come off uh, and not affect uh, the liquid. No gasket seal or anything like that uh, is necessary. So, next step is um, I think to put in a fuse here and start looking at my wiring. Okay, guys, just wanted to show you how I'm making this little uh, rear harness. Um, this is what's going to go between that connector, which I didn't know what it was. Um, to the rear turn signal lights. Uh, so just took some, and actually for this bike, I don't think you even needed 12 gauge, but that's what I had on hand. 12 gauge, uh, measured out my distance, which was eight inches, cut three wires. Uh, I think I showed you before you can buy all of these little connector, uh, bits and bobs uh, on the internet or at the hardware store or whatever. Um, 
and I like to solder my connections, then you don't have to worry about them coming loose. And then I used uh, just some shrink wrap uh, tube over the ends. Um, kind of made a makeshift loom. Uh, I just used utility tape, but there's there's actually a, um, it's more of a paper uh, type cloth uh, that you can use. Uh, so my two turn signals have a ground, which is going to go into this uh, twofer right here. All I had was black wire. Well, I've got black or red. Um, so I did them all in black. Uh, but one of these is green and the other one is dark brown, depending on it's the left rear turn signal or the right rear turn signal. Uh, and then these are all going to, um, I think I'm going to end up cutting off that connector uh, and soldering uh, where are they? Here we go. Uh, soldering the little uh, female uh, end on there uh, on the three wires uh, that will go into there. Um, but uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. I also did some soldering. I soldered the uh, two front headlights. If you remember, they only had a single wire coming out of them. Uh, so I had to do a loop which here again you can buy these and you can use these these are crimp on ones i cut the yellow off of them and then crimp them and then use a little bit of solder uh, but those are the grounds that go uh, to the left and right front turn signal in the headlight when i get all my wiring done i'll show you i, I traced down a bunch of wiring today uh found a few errors um, but I'm still, uh, I'm going to get all the grounds, uh, make sure my turn signals work, uh, and all of that. So still troubleshooting that, but thought I'd do a real quick one here, uh, just to show you what I did, uh, to make that little loom piece there. Okay guys, just going to give you a, uh, quick picture here, uh, before I button this thing up, at least for a while. This headlight's in really bad shape, but it works. Um, it's a sealed headlight, you can't replace the bulb on the inside. Uh, I looked at taking it apart there, um, and while in theory it will come out, the bulb on the inside is too big. Um, I suppose it's possible to break it, but, uh, and then replace it with some sort of halogen. I'll, I'll have to look at that, but that's a, upgrade uh, for another day right now. Uh, the inside of that headlight you can see is in bad shape uh, with the corrosion and uh, there's some rust in there. But it works. Uh, wow. You know, 45 year old light bulb that actually still works. Low and high beam. Uh, but here's the uh, wiring all done. You can see I put in my Rounds that go to the turn signals that I talked about. And basically what I did was I, I just took a red marker, uh, started at the battery, and as I traced down every leg, I would trace it down. I made some notes to myself, like on this blue one over here, there's four connections uh, to that blue. You can see there's three down there, I think it's a green one. Um, Trace it all down, um, found some wiring. Uh, this is actually orange that goes to green. Uh, so that's kind of unique, or gray, I guess that's G wire. Right? Uh, but you get the idea. Um, I used my book, I think I showed you the color chart before. This wiring diagram I got out of the means or climbings one of those uh, uh, service manuals. And you can find those online. You don't have to buy, buy them or go to uh, uh, go to a local library and get one. Uh, but it took me, I don't know, two hours, two or three hours to trace that down. Um, I've got put my rear turn signal mini harness in here. Uh, took out that weird connector and soldered in and put uh, clear ones, um, or straight ones, I guess. 
They got the battery on the charger just because they've been playing with it all day. Uh, but take a look here. You can see I've got neutral. Uh, my high beam works. Turn signals. Actually, see that light up back here. Now I do have an issue uh, with the turn signal. Uh, sometimes it'll flash two or three times. Sometimes it'll flash eight times. Sometimes it'll flash once and stop. Like you can see it stopped flashing right now. Uh, that's basically the flasher relay. Uh, it's bad. Um, you can kind of hear it. So uh, I get online, uh, get myself a new flash or relay, and I'll be good. Uh, the lights, both upper and lower, work. So everything on the console works great. Uh, really impressed about that. So uh, I'm going to try to get that headlight in there and the rim. If I've got the screws, it's about 5 o'clock today. Uh, and then tomorrow I ordered some two-cycle oil to fill this up. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to put in the gear oil and the engine oil. Um, maybe get the tank on it. Start putting some uh, gas in there and maybe actually fire this thing up. Uh, and then I can look at uh, doing a tune-up, get the points, get the carbs set. Um, and get this puppy wrapped up. Still lots of little bits and pieces here and there, but uh, that's where we're at so far, and just want to give you an Okay, guys. It's a wonderful, uh, I think it's 15 degrees outside today, so yeah, welcome to Indiana. Uh, just finished up doing the brakes. Uh, bleeding the brakes, putting in new uh, DOT fluid. Uh, this one takes, I think, three. Uh, and I used about a third quarter of this bottle. Uh, basically, just made a, a bottle with a tube. You can see other videos on uh, how to do this. And uh, this tube hooks up to, you can see it in there, there's a little uh, nib on the caliper and uh, basically uh, move this there you can see it a little bit better and right here is what that tube goes on uh, take off your cap you fill it with uh, fluid and keep that lid closed so tight uh, start Press in, then hold, loosen the tube, and fluid and air will jump out and then tighten it, and then you pump it up again. And rinse and repeat for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, I did have a leak. I went through and tightened all my connections, and uh, I had a leak right over here where this was. So I had to take this off and then tighten that down just uh, another uh, quarter half turn uh, and then she sealed up. So uh, I've got see that, get that out of the way and tighten that up. So I've got nice brakes in and they feel really good. Don't let your reservoir run out while you're doing it. Pour and more in, and you'll get a lot uh, in the bottle. Uh, that's the other thing. Fill that bottle up about a third of the way so that that tube is not uh, or is underneath the fluid. That way, if air comes out, or, uh, or if, yeah, if air comes out of the tube, it pops up, bubbles up through the fluid. Uh, so got the brakes done. Uh, then I had, I'm still waiting on more uh, two-cycle oil, but I did have some that I bought when I originally just fired this up 
when I was uh, tearing it down. So I went ahead and put in three quarters of a bottle uh, in there, and you can see this turned all black because it's black bluish, uh, which is really nice to see. Uh, I made sure all my hoses were run, everything was buttoned up and tight. And what I've been doing for the last 20 minutes is priming this pump over here. So I had to take my cover off. This is the intake hose right? that goes over to the tank. And then the two smaller hoses go to the carbs. So I took this off and uh, then down here is the wheel on the back of it. You have to turn that. You can only turn it one way, but you have to turn it for like 20 minutes. And uh, let's see if we can focus here. And you can start to see that little pump of oil there. So that is an awesome sign. That means that my uh, ooh, focus here. that means that my oil pump and everything is working as expected. Um, so, uh, I did do testing the other night on the flashers uh, in the console. I think I showed you all of that. Uh, I'll do it again real quick. Everything works great. One. <laughs> Left turn signal. And my, my relay is uh, wearing out and or broken. So that's kind of weird. So now I need to come on off. I come over here and hit my engine off switch. So I've got all my electrical set up right. I've ordered a new relay which has to go underneath the tank. Um, actually I have to take the battery and everything out. Put that back on. Got a ordered a gallon of uh, two cycle oil, uh, Lucas oil paddock, uh, smokeless, semi-synthetic. I think I got it on Amazon for, I don't want to say it was $30 per gallon. Uh, so I've got that coming. Because uh, that'll take more oil. Uh, but anyway, I'll have to pull the battery, pull this out, change the capacitor, put that back in, ready to put the tank on um, over here, and do the gas lines and the gas filters, which have to go underneath there. And then I'm going to be ready to fire this puppy up. So I think maybe tomorrow uh, will be the day. Fired up. We still got a lot to do, just little things, you know, like have to tighten down the throttle, <coughs> uh, excuse me, handle grips, um, you know, uh, any, many things like that. Uh, so I'll work on those for a little bit now. It's about 4 30, and wife is home around 6. She's got a Christmas party to go to. But It'll get uh, uber cold out here, so I'll probably turn it off and call it a day. And then tomorrow, uh, we'll see what we can do. I ordered this part, that capacitor, and I'm thinking about it. I think it's going to be 30th. I'm not sure what the day is today. It's the 29th, right? Probably not. That's the great thing about vacations and holidays. You figure what day it is. So, that's where I'm at, guys. Uh, I have decided I'm going to, uh, I, I couldn't stand that headlight. I, was gonna, I put it in there and got the rim uh, sort of kind of around it, and it just looked awful. So I ordered a, it's by Candle Power, a seven inch, and basically it's just the outside shell, but on the back of it, it would take an inch for 35 watt, Allergen uh, bulb. Uh, so mostly it's same depth, 
other uh, RD owners have done this. Um, and so I'm going to do that. Uh, it should be here. I don't know which The Paladin is going to be here before the first. And the rest of the Paladin is going to be here the first. So yeah, there's going to be little things, but nothing major. All the electrical is done in here. really good. Uh, every time I tested everything out, gold-wise, you know, it works. I'm sure I'm getting smart. Uh, we'll find out more tomorrow. So, that's where we're at, gang. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. Got my new uh, flasher relay, so I had to take the battery out, unscrew this, move it back, move that back, so I get the top off, and put in this new flasher relay. Got off of Amazon. It was eight bucks. Um, it's about the same diameter. Uh, a little shorter. So no big deal. This one is like a clear plastic. Uh, here's the old one. So you just need a, a 12 volt. Uh, you can see this one says 12 to 8 volts. Uh, two prong connectors. Cut the wires off, and on the back uh, there's uh, there's a load and then an X. So you'll see an L. Here's the old one. There's a B. If you know what B stands for, uh, you can see the L there, uh, and that's the brown white wire. So I just took uh, uh, soldered on some connectors, made sure it's connected the right way. And now we're going to hook it up and uh, test this out, put everything back together. We'll probably test it out first uh, and then put it back together. Uh, also got my oil, two cycle oil that I ordered, a gallon. Uh, in case you guys want to know what I'm running in this. Uh, I think I paid 30 some odd dollars for this uh, delivered and it's a gallon. So it uh, should be pretty good. Uh, it's all finished filling up the oil tank uh, here. Got fluff blowing around. Uh, test out my electrics and then I'll probably get the uh, gas tank on and the wires run for it. Uh, I also found last night on eBay, I couldn't resist, um, found a pair of heads, so left and right heads. For $350, $99, free shipping. Uh, and they were just fabulous, pristine. Um, so I went ahead and ordered those. Um, a gentleman who actually commented, I think I mentioned this before, um, on one of my videos, said he had some, but he's up in Canada and he's waiting for his engine to be rebuilt. Um, and he offered his heads to me once he got them. I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, but this was a really good deal. They were just right across the border here in Michigan. So I might actually, well, I haven't gotten notification that they've shipped yet. So it'll probably be next week. Uh, and I'll be able to put new heads on it. So that'll be pretty awesome. But uh, for right now, let's finish up the, uh, the work at hand and make sure everything is going. Okay, guys. Hope you hear or not. relay, $8 part, um, easy fit, uh, don't expect to find one the exact same size, you know, capacitors and everything have gotten much better since the 70s. Um, uh, and this is, does have a capacitor in it as well, so be careful that you don't short those two accidentally with your thumb, short them with the leads on there, that way it does have a spark, it'll dissipate. Um, but yeah, $8 part, not that much of a difference.
but you can find these on eBay original. They're about 70 bucks. They're still, you know, 45 years old, but they've been on somebody's shelf. Uh, I just went the cheaper route. It's not something that you really see. It's under the tank. Um, and uh, this part I got, again, like I said, is $8, but supposedly it's LED uh, compatible. So if you ever wanted to replace these back bulbs with LEDs, uh, you certainly can do that. I did notice that my left turn signal, my light's not working up here. I think I've got a loose connection. Uh, I was moving some wires around there trying to get that headlight in. So I'm going to double check that and make sure that is plugged in. But other than that, that's, I'm sure it's a connection issue. Uh, other than that, all my lights work. left was working previously, so uh, 95% sure that it was that location. So uh, I'll troubleshoot that for a little bit, it's freaking freezing out here, uh, and then I'll start working on the tank. Okay guys, I wanted to show you that uh, she's together, uh, everything uh, looks really good. Poured gas in, thought, well, all right, I'll give it a shot. Uh, and sure enough, I'm going to leak in my pet cock. Uh, even after I replaced it, it's somewhere, uh, or rebuilt it, it's somewhere around here uh, is where it's overflowing. So I got to siphon this gas out, empty the tank, and troubleshoot that. But, uh, all my lines are run. I know it's kind of dark there. Um, so the tank's on. I still got to do my badges, which I have to do that modification on the one badge to move it up just to a millimeter or two. Um, but I uh, just wanted to show you. Uh, everything's together here, and it is still freaking cold. Uh, it's snowing outside, so I think I'm going to call it uh, a day uh, and troubleshoot that pet cock tomorrow uh, after I drain some of this gas out of here. Uh, but she looks great. Uh, just have to get everything set up and get her fired. I'm a little worried about doing it. Fight her over because it's cold. I mean, uh, it's 12. Fahrenheit uh, and snowing outside, but when we start our cars in this cold, uh, the oil I put in it says it'll work down to, uh, I forget what it is, negative five or something like that, uh, but definitely not ideal conditions. Uh, so I'm going to think about that, and like I said, I got to troubleshoot that petcock, so if I need an O-ring or something replaced in there, uh, I might have to, uh, to wait until I Friday, um, and tomorrow is, well, I guess things should be open tomorrow, um, but you can see my, my turn signal lights work, well, now that one doesn't. Uh, I've got some loose connections in there that I've got to work with, I'm lowering the bench, and you have see, I got something, I got a troubleshoot there that's loose. In the, it's in the bucket. So I still, you know, got some things there that I got to look at. But uh, everything's looking good. Ooh, step on the stool here. Um, we'll get her fired up here soon enough uh, as I chase down the uh, little alligators that are coming up to bite me in the ass. Uh, there's always at least one alligator. Had more than its fair share, but I'm getting anxious now that there's uh, we're getting so close uh, to getting this thing going. So, uh, I'll probably post this for this week and do the final one uh, once I get everything figured out and fired up. So, thanks for watching, guys.